Hello, I'm here in Germany in Munich and I just want to show you how to measure TDS of any water body using the TDS meter which stands for Total Dissolved Solids. Let's start together. When we want to measure TDS of any water body, we have three options to measure TDS as 442 or measure TDS as KCL or measure the TDS as NACL. We are going to discuss in details what are the difference between TDS as 442 and TDS as KCL and TDS as NACL. But for such water bodies here, we can use the option of measuring TDS as 442, which stands for natural water, which was invented and given by Myron L Company, one of the leading company in the world for measuring TDS and for pH conductivity, resistivity and others. So here we are going to measure the TDS of this water body, this lake and this park in Munich, Germany and we can see together what's the difference between TDS as 442 and as NACL and as KCL. Keep in mind that each of these three measuring options has its own application. For example, 442 stands for three figures, 40% as sodium bicarbonate, 40% as sodium sulfate, and finally 20% as NaCl in order to represent the conductivity and TDS using this meter, while KCl is used mainly for the calibration purposes of conductivity meter and TDS meter. And also NaCl as a measurement option, we use it to measure seawater and salty water like brine water coming from desalination plant. So, Let's measure the TDS and conductivity as well as the pH of this lake and share it together in our library and we can see the results. Let's start. We can see here that TDS at 20 degrees Celsius measured as 442 it's 293 or 294 bbm as bbm stands for milligram per liter that means we have 293.5 milligram of salts different salts per liter of this water at 22 20.2 degrees celsius while if we measure the pH, we can notice that this pH of this body of water is almost neutral at 7.92 at 20.3 degrees Celsius. While we can measure the conductivity, which is higher than TDS, which, uh, which is 437.1 microsiemens per centimeter at the same temperature. So we can see that conductivity is the highest value uh, measured as 442 TDS is 293 which is the second value and pH which is almost here neutral for this water or a little bit alkaline at 7.91 as pH value and we can measure here the TDS using other measuring options not 442 we can see here now measuring the TDS as KCL it's going to give us 223 BBM in this measurement option but if we measure it as an option of NACL we can see the result is lower which is at 210 ppm of salts while again measuring this value as 442 is going to give us the highest value at 292.8 let's keep in mind one fact that the measurement of TDS and conductivity it's very important to select which type of measuring options you are use are you using KCL option are you using NACL option or you are using the 442 option which is mainly you can find it in Myron multimeters and by the way this Myron 6P has fantastic function functions and you can use it in wide range of applications as a handy tool it can measure conductivity TDS resistivity pH and ORB which stands for oxidation reduction potential hope you like the video and always when you measure the TDS through this conversion, through this con conductivity meter, you have to identify what's the measurement option you are using. Keep in mind that we can also measure TDS through the evaporation process and evaporation way through a, st a standard way, but that one is a bit different and we can discuss it in coming videos. Thank you.